Well, we had a horrible season. This is the worst season in nine years. Flu type A, flu type B, the gastrointestinal gauntlet that many of us have had to run through. It all adds up to a lot of sick people. Missed work, missed school. I think it's worse this year. Geneva Matlack is the assistant superintendent of schools in Ardmore. And after years as an educator, she knows just a thing or two about sick kids and says last week 10% of the student body homesick. We're just really striving to encourage parents to keep kids at home when they are ill, but so many times they'll say, oh, I feel good, I feel good, and then they come and they stay for a bit and then we have to send them home. So why is it hitting everyone so hard in 2008? We went to Dr. Baker for, for answers. We probably didn't get the immunization just right this year. Plus, a lot of people got it in September. We started trying to get people to do this early. And uh, it lasts three to four months. And the big push of the epidemic came after Christmas. And Dr. Four says around the holidays, people trade more than just gifts. They trade viruses. But it's almost March. Shouldn't we be done yet? We thought it maybe had peaked here but it seems to be continuing on right at the moment. Ralph Hodges has been a pharmacist for 35 years. He says people just keep coming up to his counter or pulling up to his window, seeking relief from the aches and pains and sore throats. What's a person to do? Keep well hydrated, get plenty of rest. The good news is the flu epidemic is starting to wind down. So what can you do to keep healthy and keep your kids healthy? All the educators I spoke with said they are taking extra special steps to scrub down everything in the classroom and use extra disinfectant. One local school even went so far as to bring in registered nurses to teach the kids how to properly wash their hands. That's the most important thing a lot of people say you need to remember. In Ardmore, Robin Beal, First News.